The California Midwinter Fair and Fiesta came full COVID circle Friday, March 4th, where fairgoers filled the parking lot for opening day. Lines were constant throughout the duration of the fair as guests waited for fair admission, fair rides, and fair food. Officially concluding this Sunday, locals and out-of-towners enjoyed the 10-day experience. I'm Alexis Soto with the Imperial Valley News that matters to you. The Madness was back Monday, March 7th with High School Madness seating thousands of local students to compete against each other in events such as a human pyramid, a tug of war, a mascot dance-off, and a multi-mini event ruckus relay which included a tricycle bike race, wheelbarrow hay roll, hopscotch, rope your advisor, and advisor flip cup games. The event also had the school's respective marching band drum lines and cheerleading squads give exhibition performances on stage between the Madness events. The overall high school Madness winners were Central in first place, Holtville in second place, and Imperial in third place. A variety of entertainment events were held at the Imperial Valley Speedway throughout the fair, including the Demolition Derby on Wednesday and the Heritage 500 race on Sunday. In the Demolition Derby, Jacob Rico in car number 199 outlasted the group of six. Aside from bragging rights, $5,000 was on the line in a winner-takes-all last man standing event. Other well-attended entertainment events were the variety of concerts and live performances, including Tuesday's show by the Outlaw Mariachi and Sunday show of Jimmy Cannon's Valley Jazz. There were several other performances and concerts throughout the fair time, including cover bands, local musicians, and the Susie Hayner Hypnosis Show. The Outlaw Mariachi, which has members from the Metalachi group that has performed in previous years, focuses on bringing together music and comedy. With a mix of western wear and mariachi sombreros, trumpet and drums, mariachi guitars, and ZZ Top-like beards, the Outlaw Mariachi was just as much a fun sight to see as they are an eclectic joy to the ears with their unique blend of rock, cumbias, pop, metal, hip-hop, classic rock, and more. And what would the fair be without its 4-H and FFA members showcasing their efforts in raising livestock and small animals? Last Sunday's parade of champions named 14-year-old Calipatria FFA freshman Kaylee Daffern as the Supreme Grand Champion. Holtville Middle School's 14-year-old Jackson Irangare took home the Supreme Reserve Grand Champion title. Annika Midosinka claimed the top spot for the FFA Large Animal Round Robin competition on Wednesday. The high school freshman coveted the first place prize with her 1,299 pound steer named Ricky Bobby. The fourth Large Animal Round Robin was held the following night where 17-year-old senior Riley Locker took home her first place and 7th grader Audrey Callens took home first place for the junior category. For information on these stories and more, check out our free website at thedesertreview.com. Remember to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram and pick up our weekly paper at a location near you. I'm Alexis Soto with the Imperial Valley News that matters to you.